In this short video, we're going to look at loading raw files from your DSLR. Use the open buttons we've seen already. And then you may be nervous when you come to the screen not to see any of your raw files. What happened to your data? But notice down here, we're selected for just looking at bitmap, JPEG, and FITS files. So in order to see our raw files that may have any extension, we select the asterisk there, select our file, and there you can see it loaded. So it's that simple to do. Now, of course, your computer has to have the drivers for your vendor's raw format, and you can look for them under View, Available Image Formats, and up here see a list of which file formats are available. And by the way, if you're having any trouble with raw images, you can download additional third-party drivers for raw images here, as well as a Kodak pack from Microsoft. Both of those can be helpful. So I wanted to say one other thing about raw images, and that is when we're doing visual imaging, raw images provide the absolute best quality. They really are great. But when we're doing low-resolution spectroscopy, they don't bring a lot of value, if any. And in fact, they're bulky and slow, so my suggestion is start out with just standard JPEGs or some other common format from your camera. And then if sometime in the future you decide that you need the raw images for spectroscopy, you can begin using them then.